What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender material tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can apply different materials to different parts of a mesh inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a building that I've been working on creating using the FSPY add-on, um, and I will link to a video about that in the notes down below. But what we want to do is we want to add a texture to it, right? And so what I've done is I've modeled out my building um, I've got one side over here, I've got one side over here, and what we want to do is we want to apply textures to this. Well, so one of the things about this is these are some textures that I've downloaded from textures.com. I will link to them in the notes down below, but if you look at them, what we have is for one of these faces, we have a really good front-on view, but then if you look at this a little bit closer, like if you zoom into this image, you can see how we're going to have to use the perspective view, which is a different image in order to texture this wall right here. So we need to have both of those in our object that are off to the side here. And so we're going to start just by adding a new material. So just add a new material. I'm just going to drag my building in here. We'll just tab in here. And on this front face, we'll just assign that material. We'll make sure we're in material preview mode so you can see this. So first thing we need to do is go fix our UV mapping. So I'm just going to go to my UV, UV, yeah, our UV editing real quick. I'm just going to adjust this object so that it fits along this face. So that's pretty easy to do. We can talk about more. We can talk about this more in a future video if you are interested in doing that. Um, so I'm interested in modeling this whole thing out from the photo anyway. So if we look at this though, we've got this image now applied to the front face of our building, right? So this is working great, but the problem is we still need to come in here and we still need to model or we need to apply material to this little part. So first of all, I'm gonna split my geometry using the edge loop by adding an edge loop. So we'll split this here and we'll split this here so that we're only getting this face right here. But the problem is for this object right here, if we click into our materials and let's say that we added a new material, right? So we want to add a new material in order to apply it to this wall. Well, we could go into our shading editor and add a new material. And so what we need to do is we need to add a new material in another slot inside of this object. Right, so you don't want to add a new material. Like let's say I was to apply the material to this object right here. So let's create a new material, drag it in and apply this. And I'm just going to, for simplicity's sake, just select this whole thing, right click and we'll do cube projection. So, and I don't want to fix the UV mapping on here right here. The point is you don't want to click into this object and then tab into it and try to use the drop down to apply this other material because what it's going to do is it's going to change the material that's applied to this whole object, right? So this is basically a list of all of the materials contained inside of our cube 001 object or this building. So you don't want to change that. What you want to do instead is you want to add another material slot to this object, right? So what we want to do, because this is going to be a separate image file that we're going to use, is we want to click the plus button. Then we want to click on new to add a new material. And actually we don't even want to click on new. We want to make this material the material that we'd created over here. So I'm just going to select that from our drop down. And then I'm going to click on the assign button. So when I click on the assign button, if we go into UV editing mode, you can see how for this object, you can see that this material has been applied to it. So now I can come in here and I can adjust this so that I'm getting the material out of the image that I want. So if I zoom in, let's move this over here a little bit, move this up a little bit, move this down a little bit. So now what I've been able to do is I've been able to apply one material to this face and one material to this face within the same object. You can see how those are both gonna show up in this list. And so you can also tell if I click between the objects the image that shows up in my UV editor is different because it knows that we have different materials applied to each one of these objects. 
So that's just a quick tip for putting multiple materials inside of a single object and applying them to individual faces. If you were interested in seeing me continue this tutorial on creating the building from the photos, leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, I have added a Patreon page for my Blender channel, so if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure to go over there and consider supporting me so that I can keep uh, buying new add-ons and reviewing them, other things like that. I'm considering adding some things like voting on the add-ons that I cover, kind of like I have on my SketchUp channel, but I'd love to hear your opinion on what you'd like to see there. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.